Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial here on my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. So in today's video, I want to show you how to draw a dog nose in colored pencil. So one of you requested that below my, um, my previous video. So I did record this dog, this puppy, for my Patreon. So I recorded the whole process and that is available in real time on Patreon. So I thought, why not show you how to draw the nose? So I will walk you through the process of creating the nose and which colors I picked and techniques I used. So if you're interested in learning how I did that, um, keep on watching. So for materials, I use Faber-Castell Polychromos and Caran d'Ache Luminance on Canson 1557 paper as always. It's my favorite paper for colored pencil, graphite and charcoal. So I've been using this for years and if you can get it in your country, I would highly recommend to try it out sometime. So that's the materials I use. And what I start out with is outlining the nose. I take my black, my black polychromos and I outline the nose very lightly so I don't press too hard. I do make sure that my pencil is very sharp though. So I just want to create a thin outline around the nose, just for me, just so I know if I have my shapes correct. That gives me more confidence when doing the shading. So then after outlining, I'm going to fill in the nostrils right away. So the nostrils are the very darkest part in this nose. And I start out with that so I can judge my other values based on that. And for the inside of the nostrils, I use the black Carandash Luminance. So the luminance are a bit more waxy and a bit more opaque than the polychromos. So they are a bit darker. The black is a lot darker than the black polychromos. So that's why I use that for the inside of the nostrils instead of the polychromos. And then I also use the luminance to create a light base layer on the bottom half of the nose. So when you don't press too hard, you will still be able to add other colors on top of the black layer. So there's no problem at all with using black. I use black all the time. But make sure to use it in combination with other colors. So I put uh, other colors on top of the black or I start off with some other lighter colors and then add my black on top of that. So for this nose here, I decided to start off with the base layer of black because it's just a very dark area. So I was going to go in with black anyway. And then after putting in the base layer of black, I took a walnut brown from the polychromos line and I added that on top of the black. So I'm still not pushing hard here, I just create another layer. So as long as you're not pushing too hard, you will be able to add a lot of layers and a lot of depth to your drawing. So make sure for the first layers to not use a lot of pressure. And as you can see be below the right nostril, I left open a piece of white because that's where a highlight is going to be. So I'm going to draw around the highlights. And then after the walnut brown, I took a dark cold gray. So this is number 235, if I'm right. And with the cold gray, I'm going to draw in those circular textures that you can always see on uh, the nose, so on the top half of the nose. If any of you know what those little circular textures are called, let me know in the comments be because I couldn't find it anywhere. So the center area of the nose on the top half is going to be the lightest because that's where a reflection is as the light is hitting that part of the nose. So uh, in this area specifically, I could find a lot of different colors such as blues, yellows, purples. So I used three types of blue there, which are cobalt blue, 
in dantarine blue and dark indigo and I just layered those colors very lightly on top of the nose, on that center area. So when drawing dog noses, especially black noses that are usually very shiny, try to focus on the shapes you see in your reference photo. So you can usually find a lot of different shapes in there and you'll have to learn to draw those shapes so you have to learn to draw what you see and not what you think you see and that is the most important part I think when drawing realism you always have an idea in your head of what a dog looks like or what a nose looks like and when you didn't do enough studying from real life yet the idea of what a dog looks like in your head is always a bit different from the reality so my biggest tip for drawing realism would be to first study the anatomy of the animal you're drawing, practice that, and then focus on drawing shapes and learning to see colors. So then, after putting in those blues, I went back in with the black illuminance and I darkened up the bottom, the bottom half of the nose and also the sides of the nose. And then you can also see that I added some yellow in the top left corner. And I just saw a hint of yellow there, so I just recreated that by adding yellow. And then when all the layers were in, I took my white Caran d'Ache luminance and I started burnishing. So to create a very smooth surface, a smooth effect, you can use a white pencil. Um, I like to use the white Caran d'Ache, it's opaque, more opaque than the polychromos and it creates a very smooth effect in your drawing. So with that I burnished the whole surface, the whole nose and that made it look a lot smoother but it does make your colors look more flat. So after burnishing I went back in with the black uh, luminance and the other colors to enhance the vibrancy of those colors again. So now that all of the layers are basically in, it's just a matter of continuing to add more details until you're happy with how it looks. So I go back in with the blacks and the blues. And I'm also starting to draw the hairs around the nose. And then to add some extra highlights, I used the white jelly roll pen by Sakura and I would not recommend this if you are planning to sell your drawing. The uh, white ink pens are usually not archival so not the best option. I'm not planning to sell this drawing. If you are you can try to get the uh, touch of texture and titanium white mixture from Eleona Nicholson. So that is um, a liquid white medium that you can use on top of colored pencil that's archival and that creates really nice highlights here in the Netherlands I haven't been able to get it yet so I hope I will be able to soon so I just added a few dots of that jelly roll pen and then the nose was basically finished so I had to continue with drying the hairs around the nose so the muzzle is white but in white fur you can always find other colors as well. White is never completely white. So especially around the nose there were some darker spots. And um, on top of the bridge of the nose there was a darker area as well. So you can see I drew that in. There's actually a change in direction of the fur growth there. And it makes some white hairs overlap the nose. So for that I use that dark cold grey again and basically what I do is I draw the shadows in between the hairs, so in between the clumps of fur and that makes it look like the fur is white. So I'm not focusing on drawing the hairs themselves but I'm focusing on drawing the shadows in between the hairs and that's how I draw white fur in colored pencil on white paper. 
And that basically concludes this tutorial for now. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, suggestions for new tutorials are always welcome as well. If you're interested in seeing the full tutorial of this drawing, which is 14 hours long, that is available on Patreon for the $7 tier. And yeah, let me know what you think of this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.